Hey, I'm Matthew from Living Tesla. I just picked up a Model Y with the factory tow package. It's a feature I've been waiting months to get. And in the meantime, I've been seeing these videos and blog posts and articles about these aftermarket hitches. And why would you spend $1,000 on Tesla's tow package when you can just get this $300 hitch that does basically the same thing? Now, we knew that there would be some differences with the factory tow package. But until it came out, we weren't really sure what those differences would be. So if that aftermarket hitch does everything you need it to do, great, that may be all you need. But there are some differences and this is why I waited. So to begin with, with that Tesla tow package, cost a thousand dollars before delivery twelve hundred dollars after delivery you actually get four things you get the metal tow bar with a two inch receiver you get a factory wiring harness you get tow mode software and also installation the three hundred dollar aftermarket hitch really only comes with one thing and that's the metal tow bar you can get a choice of a two inch receiver or a one and a quarter inch but most people probably want the two inch since that's what most accessories use. It doesn't come with wiring, installation, or the special tow mode features that you can get with the car. Now you can get an extra $200 wiring harness for it, but it doesn't have all the features that the factory wiring harness has. See, the aftermarket harness only comes with one of these dangling four pin harnesses, where Tesla's has this nice mounted, seven pin round harness that adds additional circuits for power to the trailer, brake controller, and also reverse lights. Tesla's wiring harness also nicely integrates with the tow mode software to automatically enable trailer mode when you connect something to it. So this is a little Reese tow power seven pin to four and five pin adapter that also has little LEDs inside so you can check whether your wiring is working correctly. When we connect it up on the screen, we get the light for trailer mode and everything's just automatically working. There's a blue icon for trailer mode with lights. There's a yellow icon for if you connect wiring to it and then manually turn it off. And then there's a red icon for if the car senses that your lights aren't working right. And I can kind of see that working on this little adapter. Every few seconds the little LEDs will all flash and that's the car checking to make sure that those circuits are working right. Beyond that it disables these rear parking sensors so they're not constantly notifying you of bikes or a cooler or a trailer behind the car. It increases your traffic aware cruise control follow distance so that way you have more time to stop with extra weight behind the car and it also disables a lot of your autopilot auto steering features. Now losing those autopilot features may be a negative in some limited cases where you really could have them, but with so many different trailer lengths and weights and even just weight distribution in the trailer, there's just no way for autopilot to be able to manage all of that. So it really is just a conservative safety decision to just universally disable those auto steering features when trailer mode is active. The traffic aware cruise control does stay active and that is the single most important feature to me. So I'm okay with that. The last difference is installation and that's no joke with this car. It's a few hours of work to take off the rear tail lights and the whole back bumper. So not everyone is a Tesla YouTuber who gets paid to just screw around with their car. So whether or not you're doing it yourself or you're paying someone to do it, there is a cost and you may even need to buy additional tools to be able to do it. So which option's right for you? If you're just gonna carry bikes on a hitch mounted rack and you don't care about the wiring and you can install it yourself, you have the tools, $300, definitely good choice. But if you're not going to install it yourself, you do care about towing, this totally worth it to me. The extra features that you get from the factory harness, the tow mode in the car, that's just enough extra value that that $1,000 is an easy choice for me. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll post links in the description for the stuff that I'm using and for the Model Y manual with more info. 
hit that subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more Model Y videos. And until next time, thanks for watching.